Okay, what I'm getting ready to do right now is I'm getting ready to call, uh, well, let me just show you this video picture of my, this cell phone, so you can see the date and time, May 19, 2014 at 10, 12 a.m. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use also a feature within this phone called the voice command. Just stay with this video, please. You'll understand why I'm doing this in a minute. And this voice command feature allows the phone to state the date electronically. Say a command. Okay, I turned the volume up a little bit. This volume on this phone is... T Anyways, okay, so I'm selecting it now. I gotta... Oh, hang on. Say a command. Okay, I gotta scroll down to where it says time and date. May 19th, Monday, 10, 12 a.m. Okay, and then going back to the icon picture so you can see the date and time. Now, the reason why I'm showing this is because... I bought this phone on April 10th, 2014. Lately, in a couple of my videos, I, I think I might have accidentally said that I bought this phone on March 10th and um, got my months confused. Now, this phone is a brand new phone, okay? The, the, the It was purchased on April 10th, 2014 at Radio Shack. It worked fine for the first month. It's got three gigabytes of, uh, of uh, uh, I guess it's internal speed or whatever, and then once you reach that three gigabytes of speed, the, the phone, it's unlimited web, unlimited, unlimited data, unlimited web, and 300 minutes of talk time. Now, when I bought it in April, on April 10th, 2014, it worked fine between April 10th, 2014 and very late April. Okay, up until about April 28th, April 29th. Then I started getting data usage warnings messages. Um, and let me just boot it up really fast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings to, to show you something. Now, I'm pressing settings right now. You'll understand why I'm making this video as the verbalizations unfold. Okay. Uh, now, I'm in settings and I got to... Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press data usage. I'm going to show you something. Okay, do you see this graph right here? Now, between April 10th, 2014 and around April um, uh, 28th, 29th, this bar wasn't the measurement uh, thing that was used in order to illustrate data the data usage. What it was was like a graph that came up from like a, a fullness, a color fullness that came up that slowly rose up, rose up to the top and then when it got to the top it would say that you're close to your data usage. I shouldn't have been getting data usage warnings anyways. I, I think what they do is send you data usage warnings to let you know that you're reaching your three gigabyte threshold but even after that is reached you're still allowed to access the web youtube google uh whatever okay because it's unlimited data and web the point that they illustrate once you go it's actually not even three gigabytes they told me one of the last times i talked to them that it's actually 2.5 gigabytes and i think the other 5.5 gigabytes is dedicated to the storage capabilities of the storage that is needed to run the applications okay now yeah they cleverly advertise that you get three gigabytes when really 0.5 gigabytes is dedicated to the amount of data storage that is needed to run the applications so once 2.5 gigabytes is used in order to uh, uh, concerning uh, uh, what's used when you're surfing the internet watching YouTube videos and so on and so forth then uh, once that 2.5 gigabytes is used up you still have unlimited web and data access it's just that the transfer bit rate is slower now between April 10th 2014 and late 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 April I was watching YouTube videos every day and each one of these columns was filled up in reference to uh, the the use data usage but I was still able to access YouTube which meant that I was watching videos literally every day they weren't they were not freezing up or stuttering okay okay so then what happened was uh, I made my payment concerning my next month my next monthly payments with which ended up being the first physical payment that I made outside of the fact that once I bought when I bought the phone because when I bought the phone included in the phone purchase was the first months of service so that service and uh, was due to end on May 10th 
2014 because the phone was bought on April 10th, 2014. So on May 10th, 2014, I went into Radio Shack and I paid for the next month of service. Okay? Now, then between uh, May 10th and May 14th, I came down with a massive migraine that debilitated me for two days. Now on May 10th, and May 11th, it, the, the headache came about around uh, the night of May 11th, and it fully exploded by mid-afternoon May 12th, and it debilitated me between that day and May 14th. I was literally, all I did was sleep. I only, when I, and, and on those periodic moments that I uh, woke up between the long duration naps, I accessed the phone just to check my Gmail, and that was it. And my true migraine sufferers know what I'm talking about, okay? So between the morning of the 13th of May and the night of uh, the 14th, I was literally debilitated with a migraine. So what I'm trying to say is the night of the 10th of May, I used this phone. Uh, the the, the uh, 11th, I went to a university, spent the whole day there. That night I used the phone a little bit. The, uh, the morning of the 12th, I went to a public library and spent a good portion of the day there. Then I went to a Ross grocery store, did shopping, got home, used the phone that night for a couple hours, then went to bed. Then the 13th and 14th, I was debilitated with a migraine. And then the morning of the 15th, when I woke up and it was finally dissipating to the point to where I could get up and somewhat function, I was I got uh, YouTube was freezing and stuttering to the point to where I literally could not watch any YouTube video at all. So I called the phone service up and told them what was going on with my, and I was also, check this out. The main reason why I called them was because I got a, a data usage warning saying that I had already went over the 2.5 gigabytes. Okay? Now, I just got to explain to you the minimal usage of, of, of what I, of, of when, of when I use this phone on those specific dates, and they already sent me a data usage thing stating that I had went over my, uh, 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 2.5 gigabyte threshold. So I called them up. And when I called them up, I told them, okay, that throughout the month of between April 10th and April 29th, I was using this phone on a daily basis on a fever scale, watching YouTube videos every single day. And I can prove it because a lot of the videos that I watched, I audio taped in order to be able to go back and listen to them. Case in point, I'm getting ready to turn on right now this tape recorder. I got two of them. Okay, same make and model, and they both operate with micro cards. So what I was doing throughout the whole month of April, because I was, I was, it was before the novelty of having this phone wore off. So I was like, yeah, I got a phone. I'm gonna be able to watch YouTube. Trust me, stay with this video because I'm getting to the meat and potatoes in a second. Now, listen, listen to this audio file. I had just accepted Jesus hours. Okay, that comes from a video I actually uh, uh, uploaded to this phone. The audio of the video. Okay, now I had these kinds of audio files, huge amounts of them throughout the month of April. Okay, which shows that I was watching YouTube videos every single day and not having one problem whatsoever with YouTube. And that and, and that does not and that doesn't only include videos that only have audio. That also includes videos concerning how I record the audios from actual videos that were that were that had physical movements because I'm discovering online that if you like listen to a video uh, a YouTube video that's just like a radio broadcast where there's no movement going on because it literally even a person moving within the video takes up pixels and as a result of uh, the pixels of the people moving uh, is uh, is causing you to go through memory because the computer is having to work harder in order to uh, transmit those pixels moving back and forth. But if you went to a YouTube video and just listened to a radio broadcast where it's just a picture, a frozen picture, okay, that's on the screen while you're listening to the audio concerning what the YouTube video is about, then that uses less memory. And I would give you an example of it, but if you, like, say if you, in fact, just go to YouTube right now and type in Steve Quayle, Q-U-A-Q-A-U-Y-L-E uh, uh, or Q, Q, U, Q, U, no, it's Q, U, A, Y, L, E, Steve Quayle, if, or Hagman and Hagman. If you listen to those YouTube videos, if you look at the, go to those YouTube videos, you'll see that they're just radio interviews, okay, that have a standing, uh, still-framed picture 
okay that is the only thing that's on the video because it's actually nothing but a radio broadcast and it's got a pictorial picture that's a still frame that 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 stays on the youtube uh video monitor so when you're listening to one of those it uses up less memory but when you're watching an actual youtube video of people talking to each other and so on and so forth that uses up more memory because the pixels are more active and as a result uh youtube uh, is is having to streamline this video representation and as a result it, what I'm basically trying to say is the computer's got to work harder okay for the video and all the movement and everything in it okay just google what I'm saying you'll see I'm telling you the truth because I googled it yesterday but the point so backtracking for a second the point I'm trying to make is that I was able to watch non-stop videos okay Okay, of the Waltons, uh, 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 survival videos like learning how to camp, you know, and, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, I was watching uh, some um, other YouTube videos when it came to like uh, uh, TV programs and stuff like that. And I met just massive watching between April 10th, 2014 and April 29th, 30th, 2014. I was watching them every day. All of these columns were filled with a uh, solid uh, color. Okay, that went from the bottom, okay, to the top. Okay, now this right here, don't mistake this, uh, it's saying two gigabyte warning, but see this, this right, now it's freezing. Hang on. See, I could, see, you can move this. Okay, but I was having, uh, uh, the point I'm trying to make is that, now when I just, like, look, I'm going into data, data usage right now. Now I moved that, but what I'm trying to say here is that my phone, I already know this phone is being hacked. I'm a target of organized stalking. All right, now hold on a second. Now if you went to YouTube and Google and typed in organized stalking and gang stalking, okay, uh, you, can, uh, you can easily discover in cell phones, cell phone hacking, cell phone stalking and gang stalking, You'll be able to see that hacking into a targeted individual's cell phone, tablet, computer, uh, landline phone are all methodologies of gang stalking. Okay? Now, the purpose of this video is to try and help my viewers understand that. So, what I did was understand what's going on with this phone. So, what I did was I called them on the 15th and I told them there's no way that I could have used 2.5 gigabytes in the small, extremely small, minimal use that I used between April 10th and April 15th. I mean, uh, May 10th and May 15th. There was no way. So, what they did was they said that that was happening because I, because they didn't, pro uh, uh, didn't process my payment. Which was, I believe, not the truth because they had sent me, now I can't show it to you now because yesterday when I called them trying to fix what I'm getting ready to talk about, they told me the only way to attempt to try and fix it is to do a, a, um, a data reset, which means that it, it erased everything off my phone. Now, uh, hold on one second, hold on one second, let me see if I can go, <clears throat> alright now, hold on, alright now I got a message right here. So there's only uh, there's only one uh, there's only one message here as a result of me showing you see one message. This was filled up as far as multiple messages before I did the data back reset yesterday. And one of those message and uh, some of those messages showed that uh, Android and uh, uh, and uh, see it's a Virgin uh, service provider and it's an Android phone. So they sent me a message stating that my payment on May 10th was received by them. Okay? Yet, uh, on the 15th when I called, they said that they hadn't processed it. Okay? So they reset it and gave me another 2.5 gigabytes. And then, uh, uh, yes, uh, the night of the 17th, the same thing, uh, the YouTube video started jamming up again. Okay? That's right. So the morning of the 18th, I called them. And they tried to say that the YouTube videos are probably jamming. They kept reiterating themselves, saying that, well, you went past the 2.5 gigabyte um, uh, ceiling, and as a result, things are going to run slower, but you should still be able to access them. Okay? Now, what you got to remember here, 
write down the dates if you feel inclined to listen, you know, to investigate so you can try and make sense of this in order to be able to see if a criminality is occurring. Remember what I've stated between April 10th, 2014 and April 28th, 29th, I was using this phone on a massive scale, non-stop every day, watching YouTube videos every day. Okay, non-stop because I was so happy I had this phone. I bought it so I could use YouTube and and YouTube did not slow down at all after the 2.5 gigabyte warning had ex had uh, exceeded. So why all of a sudden after I make my May payment am I having all these problems with my phone? From May 15th up until the night of May 17th, they're stating that I've already went through the 2.5 gigabyte ceiling and now YouTube is not operating at all in a, in a fashion to where you can listen to the YouTube videos. And I'm going to give you an example of that right now. I just saw, uh, I just, now look how long it takes for it to come up. Okay. And then when I go to watch the video, what you're going to do is you're going to see the video start, so a lot of videos have commercials at the beginning of them, so you'll see the commercial start and then the uh, and then they start breaking up and this appears on the screen, like the video is trying to reset itself. Okay, so here's the videos that came up as a result of uh, you know uh, some of my subscribe stuff that comes up. Like here's the Hagman and Hagman right here. Okay, Tom Horn and Steve Coyle. Okay, these are some of these survival videos, just camp, they're just camping videos like learning how to camp. Oops, my finger accidentally, uh, hang on, my finger accidentally hit one of them so I gotta backtrack. Okay, so these are the videos right here, okay, that are on my subscriptions, okay, that I subscribe to since, uh, since, uh, uh, since I did the data backup reset yesterday and the ones that are subscribed to this particular YouTube channel pertaining to my personal account. So the point I'm trying to make is this. Let me find a video that's going to actually, that's not just going to be, that's, uh, all right, now this one right here should have a person talking, an actual person moving. Okay, so I'm going to click on it, bring it up. Now let's see. See how long it takes for it to come up. And what you're going to look for once these videos come up, including the commercials, that they're, is that they're going to start and then they're going to stop. And then they're going to, uh, for a little bit, and then they're going to start again, and then they're going to stop immediately afterwards. In other words, it's nothing but complete, non-stop, continu continuous stuttering, okay, and freezing. That's right. Now, today's date, remember I showed you that at the beginning, the beginning of this uh, video. Now, the reason why I'm making the entire video is because targets of gang stalking, the perpetrators who are perpetrating these criminal realities against them, if this video start, starts, I'll stop stating what I'm stating until until I either stop it or until it freezes and it'll give me a moment to continue my ver verbalizations. <laughs> gang stalking perpetrators do not want targeted individuals to have any computer resource that allows them to expose what's happening to them. All right, here we go. All right, now hang on, I gotta stop it because I gotta. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Hawk coming to you live. It's 321. Oh, All right, now hold on. All right, now this is this appears to be one of those videos to where it's not a video. It's just a radio broadcast with a still picture, like I already talked about. Man, 14. It's a Friday night live show. And let me just say this one more time. Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and great earthquake. Okay. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an actual video where I know that moves, uh, where, where there's people moving in it. Now, this phone is also doing other things. It's, it's, uh, 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 it's taken six, seven minutes once I go to access my YouTube. Okay, there's no, there's no, uh, I'm sorry, my email files. Okay, because I'll get a message when I get a, a new, new uh, uh, email in my uh, inbox. Okay, it comes up here and then I click on it. And then once I click on it, it takes five to seven minutes for that email to open. Just for it to open. Now, if anybody knows anything about your, your battery and using power cells to keep the phone working, five to seven minutes every time you want to check your email account and then go back and do other work on Google uh, uh, is a long time. Okay, it eats up your power cell and so on and so forth. So let me find a video here. Uh, see, since this was, since I did a data backup resource uh, reset yesterday, I, I don't really have anything on here. All right, so just hold on a second. Let me just make a verbalization concerning, uh, oops, dang it, concerning specific type of videos. 
Uh, okay, no, I'm gonna do it right now. Just bear with me a second. Learning how to build a tent. Okay, now that came up. Learning how to build a tent. Now these are videos where there's actual people. Okay, because they're literally illustrating how to build a tent. Now these are gonna be videos where people are gonna be moving and talking. They're not gonna be still frame videos that just have audio. Okay, now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, uh, let's see, find one that where you should be able to see people. All right, this one right here, I'll, pre I'll press this one. Now it's what it's gonna do is once it comes up, it's gonna it's gonna uh, stutter, which means it's gonna play and then freeze, play, freeze, play, freeze. All right, I gotta set this video camera down just for a second so I can put my shirt on, my right, long sleeve shirt on. should be able to watch it while I'm doing it. All right, now see how long it's taking for one just for it to come on. Now the keypad is also freezing too, okay, which uh, hinders my ability to select the video, to select the web page that I'm looking for, to dial a phone call or accept one, an incoming call. That's right. So what they're doing is that Organized Stalking and Gang Stalking Expeditions, let me just put it to you this way. Do they have the ability to access any electronic device from a distance? Okay. Do they have the capability to do that? And I'm talking about any electronic device. Cell phones, computers, video cameras, tape recorders. And go in and edit, alter, and or delete any data that's in it. All right, now here it comes. I'll finish that statement in a second. Now watch how it freezes. See, it's already doing it. Okay. I don't have to continually show you how off this is this literally happens throughout the entire time of the video in other words I know where I've been I've been gathering up materials and dreaming <laughs> all right um, this is why I'm gonna be building now and it's gonna be a weird video okay so this is what it does throughout the entire time I try to watch it so I can't, I can't stop it. All right, now watch. All right, now I just stopped it. Now the reason why I'm showing you all of this is that I'm getting ready. I'm going to finish explaining some other things that happened yesterday. They said that they're going to send me a new phone. Okay, it's going to be the same account, same phone number, and everything. But they said they're going to send me a new phone. And then yesterday, once we tried to troubleshoot everything and it didn't work, they then said call us back. And if it's still not working, we'll place an order for a new phone for you. I called back, had to wait and go through the same dialogue of what's going on and everything. And then they said when they went to go place the order that their, that their site was under maintenance. So I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to call back right now. And we're going to see if there's any kind of bullshit they give me in reference to how the order for this replacement phone cannot be given today. Now... That's 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 the, that's a, that's a, that that's a uh, possible prediction, okay? And I'm showing you the time right now. Now, when I call them after I make this video, okay? These everything I state between me and them will be tape recorded. Shit, they're they're taping my phone call to them, so I'm going to tape them as well. Now, what you got to understand here is this: they lied to me. Well, I'm not going to say they lied to me, but why would they send me a message stating that they got my, my May 10th? payment on my phone and then turned around on the 15th and said the reason why the phone wasn't operating from the uh, night of the 14th up until the 15th was because they didn't process my payment and I can't prove that now because when I did a data back uh, they told me to do a data backup uh, backup reset in order to see if that will correct the problem all of everything that I did on the phone and all the messages I got had been re erased Okay, my uh, saved everything that I saved in offline reading and bookmarks and everything had been erased. 
so I can't even prove that I got those messages and they told me yesterday that they can't send me a printout concerning the uh, data usage between April 10th and the 29th yeah yeah the point I'm trying to make is this is that is that now that this phone has been backed up I can't prove how many videos I watched between April 10th and April 29th see what I'm saying so I can't prove except for how many videos I uploaded to my phone okay so I you can go to Google see now look right here it's saying there is a problem with the network there was a problem with the network now I I know that if there's something wrong with this phone then the phone can have be having a hard time connecting to the network and it might just transmit a general description like this but understand this and be clear I have, um, in fact, if I really had to, uh, uh, I could, uh, if I if I had the resources, I could subpoena this phone company, and uh, if they have the capacity, they know they know how uh, my history pertaining to uh, the serv the service provider knows the history of how what I watched every on a daily basis. Okay, you better believe they do. Okay, between April 10th and April 29th, 2014. They're saying that they don't. That they, 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 no, they said that they could bring it up, but they can't print it out. That's what they said yesterday, that it's stored in their computers. So, the point I'm trying to make is this. Organized stalking and gang stalking expeditions are operated by, well, let me just put it to you this way. Go to Google and YouTube and type in FBI, CIA, NSA, and gang stalking. And look at how many Google generated numeric responses you get and look at all the blogs that come up then type in the same thing at YouTube okay if you went to the very very bottom of freedom from covert harassment and surveillance's homepage you'll see three PDF links one of them is remote neural monitoring that's the first one open that up you'll clearly be able to see that that technology has the capacity to hack into any electronic device alter edit or delete the information in it and or control the functions of it that's right baby cakes that's right okay I went through 10 uh, actually I think it was either 10 or 11 brand new $100 video cameras in a 30-day period back in 2012 that's right I got all of the purchases and the um, return of each one uh, captured on audio file that's right that's right now why am I saying all this well let me see if I can bring it up right now just as a in fact I'm gonna google it in order for you to be able to see that it exists because YouTube won't bother playing it so I'll just bring it up at Google just stay with me for a second you because this is gonna you might think to yourself well why do I need to know all this you don't outside of the fact that this can be education for you and so you can uh, research what I state so you can uh, make informed decisions about protecting your family and your loved ones trust me on that statement what I'm gonna do is go to Google right now and I'm gonna hit this feature right here which enables me to state what I w verbally state what I want Google to search okay I'm gonna do it right now okay Brian 2 TEW gang stalking Okay. Now his last name is spelled T E W. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna set this down so I can type it in because it didn't bring it up right. So just hold on a second, I gotta go back and type it in this time. Hold on just one second. Now you can see I just typed in Brian 2 gang stalking. His last name is spelled T-E-W. You, you can Google this yourself. Just type in Brian T-E-W space gang stalking. Then hit enter, which I'm doing right now. Okay. Hit and enter, and I want you to look at what comes up. Okay, it's still spinning for some reason. Notice how long that's taking. That shouldn't be taking long at all because Brian 2 is all over the internet. 
In fact, Brian too is a San Diego target who just left San Diego after suing the FBI. That's right, you could find his court case online and a bunch of other people he was suing. He lost, so he left and went to go to Nicaragua and was gang stalked to there. Now, gang stalking is happening in every state in the United States, and the target individual will be gang stalked from one state to another state and from one country to another country. And if you don't believe me, you can go to Google and YouTube and type in Mike Fitzhugh Bell, The Invisible Crime. Yeah, YouTube and Google him extensively, and you'll see that even he, him, and Brian too are telling the truth. They're being gang stalked from state to state to state to country to country, because these crimes are happening in every state and in multiple countries. All right, so let me bring this up. Brian too came up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm at Google. It gives you the ability to, uh, if you want to search him by web, if you want uh, photos to come up of him, on uh, uh, images. Uh, hold on. Alright. Uh, or videos. Okay. So what I'm going to do is type in, let's see. Uh, news more. Now there's usually videos here. So let's see, I'll press more and see what comes up. Oh, okay. It's Alright, no one, hold up, wait a minute. It's saying, did you mean Brian 2 in Gang Stalking Act? Of course I did. So I gotta click on that. It's rebooting. I don't know why that's rebooting. Just bear with me for one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. Now, I'm realizing that this is a long video, and I'm gonna have to probably hurry up because I don't know when the battery's gonna run out. I'm gonna light up a cigarette while this is still searching. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now, uh, now why did that come up? See, it's still searching, but yet videos came up. So I'm going to try and find Brian, too. See where he's at. Uh, I, now these are all of his... In fact, the best thing... To, all right, here's one right here. Five days ago by him. CSA, NSA, DARPA. Okay. Uh, concerning how they're hacking into his computer and totally make it inoperable. That's what this one's about. In fact, I'm going to click on it. Okay, and the one above it is about the same thing. Oh, wait a minute. I'll, go, I'll YouTube it. Okay, I should just YouTube to begin with. Just trust me on this. Watch, watch. And what they're doing with him, you're not going to be able to watch the video of what he's explaining they're doing to him because it's going to be freezing. But look at what it says. CIA, NSA, DARPA, disabling more drivers, troubleshooting, and there's his YouTube channel. So go to it and see what he's exposing. He's being hit with directed energy weapons, gang stalking, CIA, NSA, and DARPA. Now, DARPA's involved in this shit because of how the DOD is involved with it as well. These, all these alphabet agencies are connected to the same purpose and they work together. They literally do. Uh, and you can, you can Google and YouTube these, these names to gang stalking and look, take a look at what comes up. And we all know that the NSA is hacking into every, everything that we got. Emails, computers, everything. And what they're doing, what this video is about is literally showing how they're disabling his computer. Okay, and he's got multiple videos that he did within like a two week period about how, at least a week period of how they're now disabling his computers. He left San Diego. He literally was living in San Diego and he left. He sued the FBI while he was here and the San Diego police was also mentioned in his legal complaint. Okay, now he, he lost his lawsuits. He couldn't stop the gang stalking here in San Diego so he left the country. And he's being gang stalked. And now they figure that since they got him in a country he's not familiar with, they'll go after his computer to stop him from exposing what they're doing to him. Okay? And notice how I got another thing there. There was a problem with the network. Retry. Okay? Hit and retry now. Now, when you go to his YouTube videos, his channel, you, his YouTube channel is Brian2TW, you're going to clearly be able to see he's being hit with directed energy weapons. They got him now. They're happy that he's in another country now. Okay. Driver is disabled. There it is. The Marvel Star driver is disabled. The Marvel driver is disabled. Okay, and see how it's freezing? Okay. So just go to YouTube and type, uh, go to Google and type in Brian. Brian to YouTube channel. See how it's freezing? Okay. Brian to YouTube channel. And see what they're doing to him, not just hacking into his computer and his phone and stuff, but also what they're, uh, how they're attacking him with directed energy weapons. 
and directed energy weapons is one of the three PDF links at the bottom of Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance. Now, if you couple directed energy weapons with remote behavioral influencing technology, which is uh, uh, which is the alphabet assholes and DARPA and all that, because now gang stalking targets a lot of us are non-consensual human experimentation targets by the government. They're perfecting weaponry is what they're doing, and they're using it on uh, targeted individuals to perfect it. Okay, and to neurally manipulate us, and we are being tortured. That's what the uh, Jesse Ventura Burn Invaders show was all about. All right, and that can be watched at YouTube as well. All right, so I got to wait till this stops spinning before I can stop it, or I can just, uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll just hit the back button. Okay, now, the point I'm trying to make is that I use computers and phones. I was going to use this phone for YouTube video purposes, for research. Uh, on YouTube, uh, and for, uh, and then I was going to begin to use it for uh, posting blogs, okay, and for uh, emails, okay. First thing they did was went up to the YouTube. Once I get the new phone in, okay, which will be just a replacement phone, they're gonna they're gonna freeze that one up. I guarantee. I'm predicting it today, on this day, that they're gonna freeze it up to the point to where I can't even. Act like when you know how everything's touch screen on your phone. Everything is touch screen like I just did. Okay? So if if when you're into a blog and you're trying to text the dialogue that you want in the blog and they're freezing it up, you can't type anything. If they freeze up the audio, that the audio feature that you can use, uh, voice to text, you know, it's a program where you speak into and what you speak into comes out in text, they'll disable that. That's right, because they don't want you to have one resource that you're using that is exposing them. Why do you think that they're going after Brian 2's uh, computer? You can also go to Google and type in the following in the following way. In fact, let me see if <coughs> I can bring it up right now. And then I'll, <coughs> I hope she don't mind me doing it. I'm going to go into Google and type in and verbalize. Okay, this is that uh, voice to text uh, feature I was talking about. I'm going to do it right now. Nap Natural YouTube Channel. It, it, it brought in map. I said nap. N. Okay, so I'm going to redo it. <clears throat> nap Natural YouTube Channel. <clears throat> okay. Now it's saying can't reach Google at the moment. Res resend audio. Okay, so why is all this happening? See how they're actually, they're, now they're targeting the Google. Okay, and they're going to say it was the phone. They're going to say, well, because yesterday when I talked to them for in depth, I was on the phone with them on and off for five hours yesterday. Okay, they said they set, uh, checked my service connection that it was fine. Okay, nap natural. forgot to say YouTube channel. All right, so I'm going to redo it. Nap Natural YouTube channel. Okay. Okay, resend audio. Okay. Nap Natural YouTube channel. Okay. Now this YouTube channel is by a woman who's saying the same exact thing, that her, that her cell phones are hacked, her computers are hacked, okay? There it is right there. I hope she don't mind me showing her. And the reason why I'm directing you to her is because they're, what they're doing to her, they're doing to every other tar every single targeted individual that's all over the internet. Her, uh, her, uh, her YouTube channel, I guess, is uh, Natural, okay? Uh, N-A-P-T-U-R-A-L-85. Okay, and if you watch enough of her YouTube videos, you'll clearly hear her talking about how she's being uh, targeted, okay, with neural cognitive weapons and how her electronics are being hacked. Because these, you got to understand something, gang stalking targeted individuals can be selected for non-consensual human experimentation, which equals torture because of, because of what is happening to them and because of the illegal crimes that are connected to these crimes, the sub-crimes that are connected to the crimes. 
The government is doing it, don't want anybody to know about what's happening to the target in the past, in real time, and if the, and if the target is predicting what might happen to them. So what they're doing is going in and disabling the functions of our electronics. And if you don't think that the NSA does not have the ability, to, or the CIA, or both, does not have the ability to collude with uh, cell phone providers, think again. They do. The whole entire internet is nothing but a farce run by the government. They're just playing a shell game with pertaining to who supposedly owns it and is operating it, like Google and shit like that. Uh, they're front groups, front organizations, okay? So basically, and just do your research and you'll see I'm telling you the truth. So I'm getting ready to call my phone service so I can end this craziness. And we're going to see if they try and say that their computer is down concerning the kind of computer they got to use in order to place the, the order for a replacement phone. And then when that phone comes in, we're going to see for one if it doesn't come in. And for two, when it comes in, I guarantee you that phone will, that phone will be malfunctioning as well. The point and the truth for you to remember in this video is not all my, not just all my statements, but how they can be folded back onto the entirety of my statements, how they can be folded back onto the factual reality that I was watching YouTube every single day from April 10th, 2014 up until about April 29th, 2014 with no problems whatsoever. And then the only problem I had after that was that it slowed down for a little bit. The YouTube videos were still working. So why is this happening all of a sudden? And why did it happen right after I made my payment to my, my May payment? It started happening within days of me making the May payment. And why did they send me a message stating that they got my payment and then turned around and used the excuse on the 15th saying that the reason why the phone was malfunctioning was because they didn't get my payment. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I can't prove that they sent me a message stating that they got my payment. Okay. Um... Because when they told me to do a, a master ba uh, backup reset yesterday, it, it took off all the messages I got from them off the phone. So I'm getting ready to call them right now. And we're going to see what kind of, we're going to see if they, any kind of normal appearing excuse or legitimate appearing excuse they give me to make it appear that they're not able to place the order for a replacement phone. We're going to see then, and if it is taken, we're going to see if the phone don't come in. And then when the, and if it does come in, we're going to see, I'm going to make videos showing how my phone service and how they're claiming that YouTube is, is stalling because of natural reasons because the 2.5 gigabytes have been used. They don't want me using the phone is what I'm trying to tell you. Thank you.